What is up you guys, Namakon here, putting you my perspective as to why Anderson is bringing us. And today we'll be talking about Breaking Benjamins' fourth studio album, Dear Agony, released on September 29th, 2009. This album received mixed to positive reviews, with many stating that the, while the album is good, it is a step down from the band's previous albums. The album has peaked at number 5 on the Billboard 200, with the album being certified platinum. Breaking Benjamin is a band that I want to get into more as before I delve deep into this album, the only album from them that I constantly go back to is Phobia, which I would say is their best album. I was familiar with I Will Not Bow, which is one of Breaking Benjamin's most popular songs. I usually go track by track on albums, but not this time as I'm going to go over how the album sounds, my favorite tracks, and least favorite tracks, and so forth. The album starts with Fade Away. Now, this is a pretty good opener, I would say. It starts like what a Breaking Benjamin song would sound like. An alternative metal hard rock song. It's simple, it goes hard, and it sets the tone for the album. Let's go over the three singles. Let's start with Lights Out, which is by far the least successful the least successful single of the three, and honestly, it's a fine song. The song is about the battle inside the brain between the good side and the bad side of the organ. The lyrics for the lyrics for Breaking Benjamin are mainly written by the lead vocalist himself, Ben Burnley, but he had some help with this album, in particular with Jason Rauch, who at the time was the lead guitarist for the Christian band Red. The second song is Give Me a Sign. Now, this is one of the softer songs on the album, and if I'm being honest, this is my favorite single out of the three. It peaked on number 97 on the Hot 100 and was certified gold. So this song is a fan favorite from the band. And I'm going to be on the fan favorite train for this song because it sounds great. The instrumentation, the melody, the chorus, Ben Burnley's voice, it sounds great, honestly. A lot of people give post grunge a lot of a lot of crap for being brooding with no purpose and most of the songs sounding the same with uh, a lot of a lot of the production being absolutely rough but i honestly do feel like with this song in particular it has a purpose maybe it's just me being a lot more nicer to post grunge but i really like give me a sign the last single i'll be talking about is by far the most popular song on the album i will not bow this is their only song that charted in the top 40, and it is certified three times platinum. The strong downloads at the time was the reason why the song charted at number 40 on the Hot 100. Radio was catching up, but it wasn't enough to stay in the charts for long, unfortunately. Honestly, compared to the other singles, um, a uh, hot take, this is my least favorite single out of the three. I don't know, something about this song feels off. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a fine song. I, I think for me, for what I expect from Breaking Benjamin, is a strong chorus and growling vocals from Ben Burnley, and this song lacks those. Honestly, some of the songs in Dear Agony are culpable of that too. Like, it feels sanitized for what Breaking, for, for Breaking Benjamin is what I'm trying to say. Like, uh, there, there isn't like, uh, there, there isn't like enough oomph compared to like, their previous singles, like especially on Phobia with Diary of Jane and um, and Breath, those songs have so much energy compared to I Will Not Bow, if, 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 if is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, 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 it feel now onto the deep cuts. This album was produced by David Bendith who produced the band's previous albums, and this was his last album he produced with Breaking Benjamin. A lot of my favorite songs on this album are the soft songs, since they stand out more to me, like the title track, What Lies Beneath, Give Me a Sign, and Anthem of the Angels, the latter of which is my favorite song on the album, for being beautiful to hear. But that doesn't mean I don't like the hard rock songs, because I like a couple of them, like Fade Away and Without You. The latter of which being a pretty good way to end an album. Unfortunately, some of the songs I feel are pretty forgettable. Songs like Crawl, Hopeless, and Into the Nothing are all songs I that I completely forgot how they sound. It's one year, year out the other for me. I could kind of say the same for I Will Not Bow, but radio stations will make sure that I will not forget.
forget it anytime soon. And uh, so, honestly, um, and after Dear Agony came out, um, the the band went into a huge lawsuit between Ben Burnley and the other band members because uh, the record label released uh, a Greatest Hits album without Ben's consent. And the other... While the other band members were actually gave it, while the actual the other band members gave it gave it the go ahead, which Ben was not happy about, so he decided to sue them, and uh, and because of that, they the band went on hiatus for 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 over five years, until they came back and released Dark Before Dawn in 2015, which topped the album charts. Which is a first for for Breaking Benjamin, so that so that means that people miss Breaking Benjamin, honestly, and uh, honestly, like for me, um, Dear Agony is a decent album, but if I'm being honest, it's a it's a pretty big step down from Phobia, like seriously, compare this album to Phobia, it's not even close, like. There, Phobia has so many songs that, so many songs that I go back to, Diary of Jane, You, Breath, Until the End, Topless, Dance with the Devil, Unknown Soldier. That album is stacked, bro. That is a that album is so stacked, bro. Like there are so many songs in that album that I would go back to and not forget about whereas with this album it it feels safe it feels sanitized like i i think i think they're trying to go for a main more mainstream sound but i i don't know this it, it didn't really uh, it didn't really work for me uh is what i'm trying to i think is what i'm trying to say uh may, maybe it will sound better for con for concerts but it, yeah, uh, there are some uh, a, a writer from uh, Alex Young from Consequence of Sound uh, panned the album for saying that the album as a whole feels dated and charmless. I, I, I'm that's a little bit harsh. I mean, it's not as good as the Phobia, but there are some songs that I could care less. I could not care less about. So um, for me. Um, Dear Agony is a is a pretty is a fine album. Uh I it gets for me it gets a ranking of uh three three stars out of five for me. So uh as uh, for for those of you that have heard Dear Agony by Breaking Benjamin, did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you want and if you want to, you can also follow my Instagram, Backlog, and Letterbox down in the descriptions down below. And if you want, and if you are interested in listening to break, and if you're interested in listening to Dear Agony, I will put the link to the album in the also in the description down below. This is Namakon.